At any time whilst working with your own personal sample library inside LoopCloud, you can click the store switch to check out the immense range of samples available to purchase. This can be really useful when you're doing a search for something you don't have any or much of in your library, after which clicking search store switches over to the store where you can then do the exact same search there and see what comes up. If you find something you like, just click buy file to purchase that sample, which instantly adds it to your personal library and allows it to be dragged out just like any other sample in your collection. Just like when browsing samples in your library, you can carry out all of the same sequencing and editing actions, checking out how one shots sound in different patterns, repitching, and creating your own patterns to try out different samples from the cloud in your current groove, such as this simple question answer sequence. then dragging out the processed version to have it sliced up, transposed, and ready to slot straight into your project. If you're liking a particular pack, then clicking on the pack artwork in the bottom corner brings up detailed information about it in the main GUI, showing a breakdown of contents and allowing you to play the pack demo. But here, you can also open up and preview the entire pack contents. And as well as buying individual samples, you also have the option of buying certain folders from a pack by clicking on them and then choosing the complete selection option on the right side. If you've already bought some samples in the folder, then these will be deducted from the folder price. Or you can buy the whole pack using the buy pack option. You can see how many points you have for purchasing in the top right. And if you click there, it brings up a window that gives the option to buy more points if you need them. So store mode in LoopCloud integrates the sample purchasing experience with your music making workflow in totally new and unique ways.